If you've ever wondered why my skin always looks so flawless, it's because I shave my face. Okay, I I actually shave my face. They're probably looking at me crazy like, why are you telling us to shave our faces? Well, first of all, if you wear makeup, if you wear makeup, after you shave your face, it'll go on so smooth. I didn't shave my face today, I did yesterday, but it's always the smoothest after I've shaved my face because shaving is a form of exfoliation. So you're basically exfoliating that part of your face and then everything that you apply on top of it just goes on so much smoother, so. Also, um, waxing is kind of expensive. I'm a student right now. I'm a student, I go to school. Um, I'm in school full time from like 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. and I work part time sometimes after school and nobody, ain't nobody got time or the money to be wasting on, Not it's not a waste, but I don't have the money right now to be doing $20 waxes when I can get a razor for $5 and do it myself, so. Before, I would shave my face with literally just whatever face wash I was using. I don't use shaving cream or shaving oils for my face. I use them for my legs, but I never thought to use anything like that for my face for some reason. I don't know. I'm trying to get into my skincare game a little bit more, and I found this product. It's from Burke Avenue. It's their moisturizing shave cream. So this shave cream is from Craig the Barber. I go to cosmetology school. Right now, I'm at Paul Mitchell, the school, Fort Lauderdale. I think he was the first demonstration I saw when I was there. And I was like, wow, I relate to your story so much. He went the traditional route of getting an education, like going to school, getting a bachelor's degree and all that, went and worked a normal corporate job. I was the same way. I went and got my bachelor's degree. I became a software engineer, but my true passion, like him, I decided that I wanted to go and do hair. So he is a barber. He actually does hair and... He left such a great impression on me. I was like, man, I really need to try these products out. He was talking about his products. He was talking about his journey. He was talking about how he went the traditional way of going to school, getting a bachelor's degree, just like I did, um, and then went back and did what he was really passionate about. And that was super inspiring, especially at the time. I was still in core. Um, Paul Mitchell has a different phases of the education. And that at that time, I think I was still in core. So I was like, okay, I really... It felt kind of like... I don't know, affirmation that I made the right choice in leaving the tech industry. So yeah, I don't know. It was just really inspiring and he was really inspiring. And I think his story resonated with me just a lot. So that's why I wanted to try out all this stuff. I was like, man, I really want to try this stuff because I'm a person that I shave my face. And if I'm going to be shaving my face, I really need to think about the skincare that's involved in it. And I'll show you the process that I went through for doing this. I actually used two of his products. One of them, I don't know where it is. I, don't, I honestly cannot even tell you. I've used it quite a few times. It must have gotten thrown around in some gratis that I got from work or something. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where it's at. One thing I will say, a couple tips if you're going to be doing this to make sure you wash your face first. Also use a warm towel around wherever you're shaving. For me, it's always been my like sideburns grow really long. And then I also get kind of a mustache. So I just shave those areas. You always want to make sure to shave in the direction of the hair growth and use, make sure like the skin is warm. The face is a little warm uh, from the cold, the warm compress or whatever you're using. Warm towel to warm up the face before you start. And that helps everything goes along. That helps everything go along like a lot easier. This stuff, you do not need a lot. The shaving cream has a bunch of different skin healing oils and is super moisturizing and thick. I'm actually gonna show you a little uh, scoop of it right now on my hand. So here we go. I have nails on, so look, this is as little as I'm using and look how much, I'm not even, my, my skin isn't even wet. Look, look how far this goes and it's still going. It's so good. This shaving cream has been voted the best by Men's Health Magazine, so I'm not talking out of my butt here. This stuff is really good, and I'll show you a video of me using it on the side here. It works well with makeup, but I do notice that I need to use another moisturizer on top of it because I have kind of dry skin. It's been more dry combination lately. I think it's because I've been switching out a lot of my skincare lately. He was nice enough to set up an affiliate program, so if you guys are interested, go ahead and click the link down below. I really like this stuff, especially the shaving cream. If you get anything that I'm talking about today, it's a shaving cream. Get the shaving cream. It is amazing. Hopefully, you cannot hear that alarm going off, but the shaving cream is really good. Um, the moisturizer is great, too, but if you have drier skin, I would go on top of it with a different type of moisturizer. That's what I ended up doing. It's just crazy to me how I was going around here shaving my face with just soap and water. Why was I doing that? Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one.
I guess 